One of the most unique and certainly our most revered artifact here at the museum is actually a human remain. It's an arm that was supposedly picked up on the battlefield at Antietam, somewhere near Burnside Bridge, after the famous 1862 battle. In fact, it was analyzed by the Smithsonian before we put it on display, and we know a few things about it for certain. It did belong to a 16 to 18-year-old male. That man was from the Ohio River Valley, so western Pennsylvania or the state of Ohio or possibly northern Kentucky. We know that much. Unfortunately, we know a little more. But we do know one other thing, and that is that it was traumatically separated from its owner under terrible circumstances. This arm is very typical of the type of battlefield wounds that we would have seen during and after battles all over the United States during the Civil War, where large caliber bullets, artillery shells, and even solid artillery shot took legs, arms, and even heads from their owners and strewed them on the ground. What's interesting is this particular arm also has a place here on the palm where there was also a slight wound that was caused to rot a little bit. It mummified very naturally, and now it's on display at the museum. Why? First of all, because there's a lot we can learn from it about diet through certain scientific tests, about where it came from, and the mechanism of injury, the type of traumatic injury that took place. But more importantly, it reminds us of the true human cost of battle. Behind every number, behind every statistic, killed, wounded, or missing, there's a human person. A personality just like you and just like me. Coming and seeing this will help you understand the true human cost of the American Civil War. It's not here as a curiosity. It's here to be revered. And it's here to be studied for a better understanding of just what our freedom cost.